lot of people that only watch my photography videos or just joined probably wondering about these field theory videos and I would remind them that <laughs> I've done hundreds of videos on field theory before I started in on uh, photography so people are like what are you doing with field theory videos like you know I got free books on field theory um, really special book of mine that is completely free it's over on archive.org uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism so that's what I'm doing this video might not interest many people but there's only like two remaining mysteries of light really only one and I solved it uh, last week and uh, that's about the nature of light and actually how it uh, shifts um, through specific mediums and the reason for that of course is simplicity you know in its most rare simple form simplicity in simple form um, that'd be the angular acceleration is higher due to the higher dielectric capacitance and electrovolts energy equals nu V energy equals Planck's constant on its frequency so it's actually divergent at right angles to the direction of propagation so light therefore the smaller spatial uh, curve gets uh, more uh, divergent due to the dielectric permittivity of the spatial medium through which it passes um, like white light and blue light have smaller spatial footprints uh, excuse me uh, while blue light actually has a smaller spatial footprint um, it actually has a huge loss of inertia um, all of this is really simple by the way there's no such thing that we call gravity uh, while you and I won't be around probably to see it but if science and uh, evolves enough intellectually which right now it's in its infancy it will eventually discover there's no such thing as gravity uh, what, what we call gravity is a merely dielectric acceleration um, when a comet actually uh, slingshots around the moon instead of it actually going directly out into space and out of our solar system it actually slingshots around and that is due to its uh, footprint relative to the sun i.e. its mass and actually how, f how far they're mutually accelerated towards one another the nature of uh, blue light for example or actually higher frequency light which actually has higher energy because everything is electrical actually uh, gets uh, shifted more uh, through uh, mediums like glass than uh, does red uh, red wavelength light and blue wavelength light. We've always thought that uh, this was uh, purely uh, reflectance, I mean, excuse me, uh, refractance and uh, the nature of the medium which it passes through. Um, but it's a lot more simple than that. Uh, I finally figured it out. So it'll be simply angular acceleration of uh, the nature of the energy relative to the spatial medium that it's actually passing through. Everything works off of the right-hand rule. Acceleration, electricity, magnetism, everything is the right-hand rule. Dielectric acceleration also works off of the right-hand rule. The only way, however, you can counteract the right-hand rule is that you actually have omnidirectional uh, acceleration towards like a large body relative to a smaller one. So counteracting the uh, acceleration towards multiple locus points becomes uh, hard unless you actually start thinking in terms of a parabolic array but that's a matter for another discussion but uh, I'm glad I figured this out because everything is electricity of course and of course electricity is a compound I mean there's no such thing as electricity as a field perturbation electricity is a compound of uh, dielectricity and magnetism electricity equals uh, phi times psi q and Planck of electrification so dielectricity and magnetism comprise electricity um, this is really simple the one thing you could always do as so far as stumping a scientist and they're only scientists by name only is that uh, ask a scientist how uh, light accelerates actually after it leaves glass because glass uh, light uh, depending on the frequency decelerates by 30 some percent as it passes through glass medium for example uh, to uh, not uh, break the law of conservation of energy you know there's no gas inside light if you will that allows it to speed up they'll say all sorts of stupid stuff like it springs off the glass after it which is stupid they say 10,000 different things but you could always stump a science like how does glass Reaccelerate after it leaves, uh, and of course it's not acceleration because there's no such thing as the speed of light. Light is not a speed; it's a uh, rate of uh, propagation of the medium through the medium. Since light actually has transverse components, its quote-unquote speed limit or rate of uh, propagation is uh, limited to what we call uh, c or the speed of light. But light is not a speed; it's a rate of induction, and uh, 
So this is very simple. I mean, everything is capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. So I figured that one out. So I'm actually making this video almost more for myself, but I finally figured that one out. It's amazing that uh, you tell people this really simple stuff about like ele electricity, not electricity, but magnetism and light, and people look at you, you're like you're an alien. It's like you do realize that while there are like a billion magnets and like a billion different inventions, like your cell phone, your TV, there's no branch of science that's ever explained what magnets is. Oh, sure it has. Like, no, it hasn't. You can even go on the largest magnet manufacturing websites on Earth and go to their frequently asked questions page. Like, how does a magnet? We don't know. Because I know now. Um, I love it when people argue with me, too. I've got a free book on magnetism, and it's evolving into its fourth edition and then into its fifth and sixth. People say, oh, no, you didn't come up with that first. Like, oh, yes, I did. I've got every book ever written on magnetism. Oh, I do. I do. I damn well do. People say, oh, you didn't come up with that for Walter Russell did or so. I said, no, they didn't. You know, go point out to me where what I said is ever mirrored in what they said. They never explained magnetism. They explained various aspects of magnetism, some of which nobody ever explained before. But none of them ever even came halfway to what I've already discovered. I hate it when people say that. They're like trying to steal my achievements and my incredible hard work from me. No, you didn't come up with that first. So and so, Schauberger. It's like, I've got Schauberger's stuff. Why don't you go point to me where he actually explains this? Oh, well. They always shut the hell up when I ask them that one. You didn't discover it. Walter Russell did. It's like, do you know Walter Russell? It's like, yeah, I digitized all his works. Walter Russell never explains this. Walter Russell never defined a field. If you like do a digital search, on Walter Russell's works, he never explains a field, ever. He never defines it. He certainly never explains magnets. And he talks about many of the ways it operates and whatnot, but he never defines polarity. He never defines, uh, you know, the reciprocating precessional hyperboloid and the uh, hyperboloid and the torus and the conjugate nature of force and motion or inertia and acceleration. None of these people did that. Tesla didn't do it. Russell didn't do it. Schauberger didn't do it. I love it when people say that to me. By love it, I mean despise them because they're 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 schmucks. People say you didn't discover that. You couldn't have. It had to have been someone famous, not you. It's like no, I did discover it. So shut the hell up. Stick that up your dark hole somewhere. <laughs> because I did discover it. It's like I got the book to prove it. Why don't you look through my book and go find out where someone else says the same damn thing? Whew. There you go. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Yes, kitties. I not only make videos on photography, I make videos on field theory. I've been doing it for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can click the link below or tell me to jump off a cliff. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bum 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 bum